Yamoshi came out of the palace shouting loudly, God is my sister whom I have gathered in the palace for tomorrow. You already know the reason. We all have one goal, and that is to annihilate multiverse travelers, including Naruma's celestial killer. We will leave first thing in the morning for the planet Osaru, where our challengers await us, eager for their death. <laughs> Yamoshi would enter the palace again. Sister, I'd have warned everyone. Perfect. Oh. That bastard will die tomorrow. Oh. Your sin will be forgiven when you lose your life. In the prisons of the planet Osaru, Shuru said, they are preparing to kill us. Grandpa, my father won't be able to fight. We can't just wait for them to attack us. We have to get out of here. You were also able to see them, Yukina. There are dozens of golden layers that surround this cursed place. We can't get out of here. Maybe if Goku was conscious and we attacked together, we'd have a chance. For now, it's best to wait for the fight with those beast gogs, so we'll buy some time and possibly Goku wakes up. Hyokina looking at the unconscious Goku yelled, My father doesn't have time. This place is the one that makes him so bad. If we get out of here, I'm sure you'll wake up. Here I go. I'll try to rip into the annoying gold layers. And this damn planet, the planet Osaru, began to shake a bit. Emiye yelled, Stop Yukina, what are you supposed to be doing? Quiet mom, right now I'll get him out of here. Hold on dad, I'm just like you. I know that this planet prevents you from being the same as always. There isn't much difference between my powers and yours. I'm 50% certain that I'll be able to get out of here. She's crazy. His powers are further increased. It will explode to pieces. Or if you don't, your body will be so heavy that you won't be able to move. So what good will it do him to have that great power? Do not be an idiot. Think about Goku's suffering if something happens to you. I don't think she's the type of person who would sacrifice herself in vain. She's hiding something and she knows she can control that power. What are you talking about, Dad? That power is too exaggerated even for me. Leave her. She's not as weak as you think. Some loud roars began to shake the place. A purple aura slammed down on her. His entire body was transforming. His hair was growing rapidly and from the waist up he was beginning to grow a peculiar purple fur, just like his father. Upon finishing his transformation, everyone was surprised. The perceived Kika was simply overwhelming. He was a small version of the mighty Goku. It can't be, this is amazing. <laughs> Daughter, since when can you do that? I'm not proud of the day I got this power, because when I did, a piece of my heart died. Yes, this purple form was born the moment you died. I felt great anger and my entire being exploded with power. Although I was not able to reach the full form, that's why after injuries, now it comes to my plum fall on the floor. Now it's different. This is me when I use the same power as my father. Shuru thought, his power is incredible, but why can't I see the beast? If he's just like Goku, he should have it. Yukina, Yukina channeled tremendous power into both of her arms and said, Resist this power if you dare, you can't keep us locked up. A flash of energy went straight to the golden cloaks. But only three of them fell, and quickly a dazzling light was restoring them. Oh. That strange place seemed imposing, impossible to destroy, that power did nothing to them. Now I understand why they call it Endless Beast. We can't escape from here. We only have to fight to the death, in a place where they have the advantage. Grandpa, Akuma Mom, let's all attack together. This time I will use a triple Kaoken. I think it's my limit. Triple the power of the purple Aru, it's already too exhausting for my body, but I have no choice, come on, trust me. What? Save your power Yukina, tomorrow with the help of that power and our resonance, we can win our first battle. No matter how hard we try, there's only one way out of here, and that's by beating everyone. Don't worry, your father is very strong. Goku will wake up and we will win. He has already done many miracles, he has defeated enemies that seemed invincible. If there's someone I can blindly trust, it's him. Yukane stopped using that great power, 
but when she tried to return to her original form, it was impossible. He had transcended to what was beyond any god, and he could not return to his old form. I can't go back to my normal form. What is happening to me? Goku went through the same thing. Your power will always be at the highest level, just like your father's. Yakina looked at that escape and thought, whoever formed this place must be having fun, thinking that they were far superior to us. Father, you have to wake up and show them how wrong they are. I will help you to the best of my abilities. Returning to the Divine Realm, in the training room, I will give you a chance to choose Cyrus. Yes. Do you want us to use our spirit beasts or just a normal fight? It would be an honor to face the Black Ozaru, but I think we will fight in a normal way. If you use your Ozaru and I use my snake, I think this room in the Divine Realm would be destroyed once again. Little Kame has already returned and she would be upset with me. You smiled and said, it's a pity. I heard that the spirit beast of the legendary angel Cyrus is a gigantic snake that surpasses the Ozaru in size. I wanted to see how terrifying it is, but what are you going to do to it? Cedrus said, it is the second largest that has appeared in this universe of beasts. The Ozaru Karmeshi Takame is smaller and surpasses me in power, so don't go by the sizes of the beasts, you. Better let me see what your skills can do. Sarez in a second, have sent you to the floor, I kicked him hard in the head. Okay, let's go upstairs. Don't tell me he's been defeated with a single blow. Wow, you surprised me, I didn't think you were that fast. Yes, I would be the fastest too, if it weren't for him, no matter how I look at it, Daruma's unexpected return makes me very nervous. He's little Kami's brother and also someone I appreciated a lot. But it is still a danger. Someone with his power and speed shouldn't exist because he can even hurt the people around him. Right now his power is nothing, he is rubbish before us, but if his power returns. In that instant, Yule would strike back at Cyrus, he had moved so fast that she was not able to dodge either. Cyrus woke up with that blow and began to fight with everything with you. No doubt the angel was moving quickly, but the sharp eyes of the queen's protege could not be ignored, much less underestimated. It was what Cedrus was able to realize very quickly. While attacking at high speed I thought, it's impressive, that's why Akame loves it so much. This boy has a great future, if I compare him in talent, he is not below Daruma, it would be interesting to see a battle between those two, but it would be very boring if he fought against that weak aggression of the mighty Daruma. After the passage of time, both Yui and Cyrus were bleeding too much, but unlike Cyrus, Yui was smiling, she was very happy to have such a brutal fight. The wounds, instead of causing him a smell, made him feel the exquisite taste of a battle. For her part, the beautiful Angel, who had rarely been hurt, she thought, is very strong in her base state. My body hadn't bled that much since Daruma defeated me. I'm sure Iwalaro surpasses Yamoshi's powers. In that instant, Akame destroyed the room. What do you think you do with my you, Sirius? Why did you seal the entrance to the room? Well, it doesn't matter. I see you got a surprise. I don't think you looked so bad since my bastard brother, when he was very young, beat you in that fight. Sires thought, the divine laws have been fully activated. She no longer admires Daruma, on the contrary, she hates him and wants to kill him. I knew this would happen, but I was worried that she would escape the multiverse of beasts before the divine laws kicked in. In that world, the angels did not suffer the change of personality caused by divine laws. No. After all, they disappeared instantly. They were also forbidden from revealing secrets that were against divine laws. Little Kane, I see that you have trained you very well. I'm sorry I kept you from saying that I would train with him. Don't worry, it was very helpful to see how far my dear warrior has reached. She is part of the three greatest powers in this universe. Oh. You. Let's heal those wounds, tomorrow we're going to have fun watching pathetic warriors soothe an abyss of suffering. Oh. Of course Akame, hey Cirrus, I had to rest, when you recover, don't forget to repair the room. But after that event, the hours passed very quickly, and on the planet Osaru, 
Goku still hadn't woken up, but he didn't stop talking in his sleep. The strange power that Akame had thrown at him was causing Daruma's memories to be merging with reincarnation. Yon. Flashback. Memories of the past. Daruma-sama, how good that you have come to our humble planet. I'm embarrassed to ask you, but we need your healing powers. Right. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't call me Daruma-sama, just call me Daruma. I feel strange when they talk to me with respect. All the inhabitants of this universe are my family, and no matter what rank I have, I consider that we are all equal. Come on. Tell me who you want to help with my healing of living beings. To my sister, the protector of this planet, can Daruma-sama do it? I'm sorry, Dharma. Of course I do, not to brag, but I'm very good at healing people. That young man was happy and thought, there is no doubt that Daruma-sama is very different from all the other wretches. In the future I want to be a formidable warrior like him. A few minutes later, Daruma arrived in front of a beautiful girl, who was very hurt. Daruma was surprised and said in space, those injuries are not normal, they were made by a high-ranked divine being. Rai, what happened here? Who did this to Yami? Yami looked at his brother, indicating with his eyes that he shouldn't say anything. Daruma would heal the girl and said, Yami, you are aspiring to be a goddess of one of the twelve territories. Who dared to attack you? Daruma-sama. I'm sorry to cause you trouble. I made a mistake while training. My beast aura went out of control and I damaged myself. Did your aura hurt you? Yes. Como? If our beasts are our best friends. Right, Sarah? Of course, I love Daruma. Excuse me, but not all of us have the affinity that you have with your beast. Daruma-sama. Please don't bother me anymore and let me rest. Sure. Take care and rest, then I'll come back to this planet. Time passed and Daruma came across similar cases in other girls from different beast clans, so he was beginning to see that something was wrong in the beast universe. Daruma in the Divine Realm. Very upset he said, Brothers, I don't like something about this universe. I have come across thousands of cases of injured girls throughout the universe. All of them have high rank spirit beasts and could be goddesses in the future. Yamoshi said, Daruma, thousands of people are injured every day, you are too attached to the people down there. Take a break little brother, you are not like the others, you are an Osaru, the strongest and most feared warrior in this world. I don't like being feared by others, I just try to make all my people live in a peaceful world, but I don't like something and I know someone hurts my people. Come on brother. Surely they are girls who hurt themselves on purpose, so that the generous and handsome Daruma will help them with his healing power. Those beast girls, they're just crazy about you. Akame, how can you have such a thought of our people? Cyrus thought, he is realizing that the Celestials take advantage of the girls of the beast plans. If he notices that, a fight will break out where he will die, and possibly little Akame and Yamoshi will too. My duty is to take care of the three of them and prevent something bad from happening to them. Daruma, I'm so sorry. Me and Hikaru, we punished those aspiring goddess girls, they were pretty weak, and we just want our gods to be the best of the best, to have perfect mastery of their spirit beast. A loud roar shook the divine realm, and the palace was blown to pieces. Cyrus and Hikaru synchronized and said at the same time we agree to fight Daruma in a fair fight. Saying that, the Divine Laws did not activate. That way they were protecting Daruma from being exiled. Um, Both the angels knew well what was happening and blamed themselves to avoid a war between the three brothers and the heavenly ones. Miss. Cyrus Hikaru, you took care of me since I was little, but whoever messes with my people, I don't forgive him. Cyrus yelled, Spirit Beast release. Benahime, poison everything. Spirit Beast Release Wolf, tear my enemy apart Yamoshi yelled, don't be stupid Daruma, you're going to die if you fight Hikaru and Cyrus You are very young and you have a long life ahead of you Daruma imagined all the wounded girls he had healed in that time They didn't deserve to be beaten almost to death 
It's true, not everyone has the talent of a prodigy, but that's not the only reason they can be treated like this. Daruma said in his mind, Saru, I'm going to do this by myself. Just take care of protecting me from the poison, you're not going to use release. Then? I thought he was bursting with anger. I am. But I'm furious because those two were trying to hide who really was responsible for what's going on down there. Serez and Hikaru are like my mother. That's why I don't want to kill them. Still, I will make them feel the same pain as all those innocent people. The poison of that Cyrus is very strong, I entrust it to you. Leave it to my master Daruma. Daruma disappeared from everyone's sight. He's cocky. Do you think you can fight with the two of us without releasing your spirit beast? I admit it, you are very fast, even faster than me, but you are going to fall before my poison. Siri released a powerful poison that spread around her. Yamoshi and Akame stepped back so as not to be affected. I want to see you attack me Daruma. Your strength will be of no use if you cannot touch me. After saying that, Daruma appeared right in front of her. Serez was surprised and was unable to dodge a direct hit to her stomach. Serez felt very bad after receiving that blow. It twisted and touched where it had been hit. It can't be, how could a simple blow hurt me like this? How is it possible that my poison does not affect you? Cirrus, remember this, that he is not using a spiritual beast. It doesn't mean he's fighting alone, consider yourself lucky. I still respect you a lot for being like a mother to us. Daruma landed another heavy blow on the snake, causing it to vanish and quickly hit Hikaru without her being able to react or use her spirit beast. The two angels were immobilized by just taking a hit from the Daruma. They couldn't stop spitting blood and their beasts hadn't even been able to attack. Jikaru Cyrus must have their reasons for blaming themselves for something they didn't do but don't think I'm stupid. I am going to find the real person responsible for sowing terror in my universe, then when I do, he will have to face me. Supreme release of spiritual beast, Saharu Ru, to make everyone tremble. A colossal spirit beast appeared in front of the two angels and their brothers. Next time don't lie to me. The beast did something that none had ever done before, it had spoken. Who messes with Daruma's family, messes with me. A loud roar was heard throughout the universe. In that instant, that Osaru disappeared and Daruma too. They had left the place. All four of them were trembling from what they had witnessed. The kind Daruma was terrifying when he got angry and released his beast. Sis, that was not a normal release. The size of your Osaru is unreal. I have never seen a beast of that size. Cyrus's beast considered the biggest of all. It looks insignificant on one side of that one. The eyes here shone at me, and a dazzling smile made her happiness known. Yacht looked at his younger brother a lot, and with what happened, he did it even more. She considered him the strongest being ever seen before. That was crazy, Cyrus. He could have killed us very easily. It is a lack of respect. But the young Daruma, perhaps he has the same power as a Celestial. I may be level 1, but they are 12. I don't want him to waste his life uselessly. B. I don't regret feeling this tremendous smell, because my duty is to take care of those three. They are like my children. I would give my life so that Daruma never finds out what the Celestials do. Time passed and nothing had changed, injured women appeared every day. Daruma's desperation for not finding the person responsible grew with time. Two years had already passed and once again someone had attacked the goodbye aspirant, Yami, bearer of the dragon spiritual beast. Daruma was a rare case of god beast. His Osaru perceived when another beast was seriously injured, and he informed his master of everything. Daruma departed for that place immediately. Daruma, what are you doing here? We'd have been very good. You disappoint me. Your sister is dying. And you tell me that they have been very good? I don't know why no one tells me who attacks them. This is starting to bother me. Daruma would enter where the injured girl was and when he healed her, she woke up very upset. And seeing Daruma furious, he said to his brother, I told you not to inform Daruma-sama of this. He has more important things to do. 
He didn't tell me anything. The only important thing to me is that all the people in my universe have a good life, and yet they don't. I have treated thousands of women from the best spirit beast clans. All of them are seriously injured and none of them tells me who is the cause of everything. I don't deserve to be one of the three kings of this universe, the one who can't take care of his people. It doesn't deserve to be. I've been thinking a lot and I have no other alternative. I will have to brave the path of endless beast. I may die trying, but it's better than watching my people suffer. Take care of yourselves Yami, Rai. Please wait, the cause of my sister's injuries are the Celestials, the highest ranking beings in this universe. They take advantage of my sister and hurt her to satisfy themselves. She didn't want you to find out because they threatened her for killing the bees. Moron. Why did you tell him that? If Aruma-sama dies, this universe will perish. What does it matter if I have to die? My puny life is nothing compared to his. Daruma was filled with anger and said, So that's why all the girls who have hurt were afraid to tell me what happened. The Celestial Damned have been taking advantage of having the highest rank. You have freed me from my anguish, become strong, so that one day you can protect your sister. I have to go. I don't think I will visit them again for a while. Take care. Darula was getting further and further away from the universe of beasts, because on top of him, there was a floating palace where the Celestials lived. You pieces of scum, how dare you do that? I don't care if I have to be exiled from this world, I will kill them. This will be a fight, Saru. The Celestials are very strong. You're with me on this, right? <laughs> of course, if I love Daruma, no matter who your enemy is, I will fight by your side. And they will never be able to do supreme release, because they are stupid who believe that beasts are just weapons. That's what makes you different, Daruma. You understand the feelings of others, even your beast. Let's beat the crap out of those Celestials. Please. The closer he got to the floating castle of the Celestials, the gravity increased more and more, something that did not affect Daruma in the slightest. Daruma arrived at the floating palace that was above his universe. Daruma, do you feel that? I can feel it, Sarah. All that energy is from the girls who have been badly hurt. Those bastards, in addition to damaging their integrity, have been taking away their powers. No wonder all beings in the universe have such low power. When these wretches feed on them, Daruma calmly walked inside the palace, where the Celestials were mocking the Beast Universe. Those idiot kings will always be below us. We can do as we please with all the inhabitants of that place. After all we have more authority than anyone over them. <laughs> You're right, brother. Boy, it's fun to do as we please with the beast goddesses. Hear them scream and plead. When we threaten to kill the youngest of the daring kings, it is very pleasant. Do you know, brothers? I'm tired of normal beast goddesses. I feel like getting my claws on the beautiful Osaru Karmethi. Akame would not only have a great time with her, but the energy stolen from her high-ranked beast will increase our power to a level never seen before. The girl is strong, but she's still below us, she's very conceited, and that will make my triumph more enjoyable in front of her, even more so when her body is completely mine. Akame, I'm already looking forward to that day. A strong tremor shook the floating palace, and seconds later, the Celestial who said that was hit heavily. Everyone angrily shouted, We have a little intruder in this sacred place. I'm surprised you can stay on your feet, you silly little worm. Return to your palace to continue living as a spoiled child. Let's just overlook this disrespect. A powerful dark and red energy emanated from Daruma's entire body. Garbage. They have destroyed the peace of the world of which I am the king and plan to mess with my dear sister. Today none of you will leave here alive. Look, little Daruma, you are very young to understand this, but we are the ultimate authority. Get out of here before you end up exhausting the patience of all of us. No matter how you look at it, divine laws protect us too. Even if you had the strength to kill just one of us, you would be erased from this world. And I swear to you that after your death, the next to die will be your brothers. Of course, without first playing with that beautiful sister of yours. 
I can't tolerate this guy. A portal formed behind Daruma, and a dark energy pulled him into it. You will live forever in infinite darkness. Ha ha ha, stupid lower rank. The dimension began to be cut, and a huge hand from Osaru came out of that place, opening the dimension of endless darkness for Daruma. The Celestials were surprised. That young man had come out of that dark place like nothing, and the murderous energy he was releasing was fearsome. That killer energy can be at our level. Wow, the younger brother of the two heiress. It is not a great dross as I had it cataloged, but it is still nothing. We are 12 high ranking beings. We are going to tear you apart. Daruma's fist was penetrating the heart of that celestial and it had quickly died. That caused the fury of everyone else, who all shouted together, Spirit Beast Release. We tried to be nice to you for being an important link in the beast world, but you've killed one of us. That cannot be overlooked. Before you are erased by divine laws, we are going to turn you into cosmic dust. Daruma had finished off the celestial in one hit, because he was already using his beast's power, but not using his release. It was another way to use the explosive power on a beast, but only one who was capable of understanding his beast could achieve it. And since everyone believed that beasts were just weapons, only Garuma could achieve the feat of using beast power to its fullest. I love Daruma. See those beasts? You don't listen to them, but I do. All of them are also sad to have to be used by these heartless guys. That is why the powers that they can give them are limited, since they do not give power to their master voluntarily. I mean, they... they forcefully take it by using release. Um. You and I are different, and even if there were a hundred of them, they couldn't defeat us either. Yes. Use all my power, master. If we fight together, no one can stop us. Da Daruma yelled, let's go for them, Zaru. Ultimate release of the King of Beasts. Roar, Zaru. Make everyone tremble. The colossal beast Zaru appeared to fight alongside Daruma. The Celestials watched from below, since that beast was gigantic, much bigger than theirs. This is a joke, the size of that thing is insane. Calm down, her size makes her stupid, she's much bigger and that makes her slow. Try to intimidate us with something bigger. Ha ha ha. But we are not inexperienced warriors that can scare. Let's kill this guy, brothers. The eleven celestials attacked at once, which began to hit the Garuma beast, which seemed to be being defeated by the other beast's barrage of blows, but suddenly a loud roar caused the celestials to step back for a moment. You just tickle me, did they call me stupid? We'll see about that little worms. The celestial OZS were frozen. Upon witnessing that, that huge beast had spoken. That thing spoke. This cannot be possible. That's up to you, right, Mokoso? You try to play with us. This is no game. You will all die here. I won't allow them to touch a girl from my universe again, especially not my sister Akame. Saru is also furious to meet such scumbags like you, so be careful. Daruma and Saru disappeared from the sight of the others, they only looked at two purple bursts. One was from Daruma and the other was from Saru. How is it possible that he can move that fast? Daruma appeared only to hit another celestial, but he had protected himself with his beast. The mocking celestial said to himself, ha da ha ha ha. <laughs> You're not very smart, Daruma. I'd always use my Osaru spirit power as a shield, no matter how fast you were, you won't be able to penetrate my defense. Daruma just began to laugh and quickly a huge and powerful fist fell on that celestial. The celestial beast was torn to pieces and he was badly injured. Daruma, without holding back, would throw an energy sphere at him to completely disappear him. One down, ten to go. Damn ingested. It was the loud cry of another celestial who was about to reach Daruma with his fist, but was stopped by Saru, who began to clench the other Osaro's fist, tearing it to pieces. He himself released a great wave of energy from his mouth, to eliminate another one of them. What they had seen was something impossible for the Celestials to believe. That Osaru had defended Daruma on his own, as if he were really alive, plus he had released energy, and more shocking than that, they had already killed three beings of the highest rank. 
Everything that had happened had made the strongest beings in his universe look like garbage. And it wasn't like that. Each celestial had the power to destroy any god, even Yamoshi and Kami. The out of the ordinary there was Baruma. He was too powerful even for a celestial, and his high-speed attacks, combined with Saro's explosive power, were deadly. That Kanaya already killed three of us. I didn't imagine that the youngest of those three had so much power. I always believed that the Crimson Usaru was the strongest of all. He still has a lot of power left. It should quickly subside from the pressure of using such a large beast, but I don't feel its energy weakening. We only have to merge our bodies to form the ultimate warrior, the strongest Osaru of all. Saru yelled, we won't let them. Master Daruma, let's finish them off. They plan to make a merger forming a single being. Daruma and Saru attacked but two celestials got in their way while the other seven were channeling great power to carry out the fusion of all the spirit beasts. Daruma and Saru finished off the two celestials but when they looked ahead they saw a huge Saru that was even bigger than Osaru, the celestial one who had been in control of everything. He was the strongest of the twelve. That was why it was his body that was left in command of the permanent fusion. I never thought I would live to do this. I never imagined that a worm would force me to do the spiritual beast fusion now because of you all my brothers have disappeared and only me is left but they are all part of my power and their wishes were to kill you the celestial full of anger moved very quickly hitting Daruma, who although he was protected by Saru had received great damage. Daruma fell against the floating castle which was very strong and had not been destroyed by power extortion. Get up Daruma, let's have some more fun. According to my calculations in less than an hour you will be punished for killing my brothers, but I want to be the one to make you feel the agony of death. So it's in the fusion of seven celestials, his powers have skyrocketed to amazing levels. That's logical master, that's the sum of the powers of the seven, plus the increased power of your beast that has forcefully reached the ultimate level like us. You have to be careful, if we receive more hits of that magnitude it can seriously hurt us. Another huge fist was coming at them at high speed, but Daruma and Saru stopped it with a similar attack. When those fists collided with even the planets of the Beast Universe, they trembled even though they were far away from that floating castle. The whole planet has shaken. Daruma Sama really is fighting with the Celestials. That is the power of my brother. You are fighting someone very powerful. Cyrus and Hikaru knocked Yamoshi and Akame unconscious, surprisingly attacking her. Envy. Cyrus said, Damn it Daruma, you really are an idiot, now we can't do anything. When the Celestials attack, no one can stop them. Returning to the fight, after the clash of fists, both subjects began to exchange blows at great speed. Both warriors had almost the same power, but the fusion was slightly stronger. Resist Ambadaruma, his power will soon start to drop. That ultimate beast doesn't obey him at will either, it won't be able to stay in that form for long. His blows are very strong, Saruto. I hope that before his power runs out, he doesn't kill us before, because if he does, my entire universe will be condemned to eternal suffering, it doesn't matter if I die, this guy must come with me, for my brothers and for my entire universe, I must give you credit Staruma, you are amazing. I did not imagine that a young man like you, would be stronger than the Heavenly Twelve, and would have the necessary power to face the fusion of seven of us. Die with honor. A huge supernova formed in the arms of the Celestial. Daruma looked at that and said, Sorry, I seem to have failed everyone. This is not your master, take a good look at your opponent, he is so confident that he is using much of his beast's power in that attack. That is his ultimate technique, because he knows he can't take it anymore with the ultimate spirit beast release. If we can resist this attack, we have won. You are absolutely right, Sarah. I still can't give up. That's why I ask you, give me all your power, I can easily dodge that attack, but if I do, most of the planets will disappear, I can't fail my people. <laughs> Daruma, you're so hurt you couldn't take even a tenth of this energy. You are a big stupid. You are a subject that can heal any wound. Ha 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 ha, but what an irony. You can't heal yourself. You have good for nothing skills. Shut the fuck up. 
That's because for me helping others is a thousand times better than having a great power stolen like all of you. They rose above all for stealing the energy of my people. I don't care if they are the highest ranked beings. This ends here. You'll make a release of spiritual beast. Forgive me, Sarah. This is goodbye, friend. Why are you sad, Aruma? I didn't tell you that my power was to protect you and your family. It was fun to fight so many times by your side. You changed the fate of the beasts that were always used as weapons. You treated me like a living being. So don't feel sad for me. A long time ago, hear this from Aruma. The Supreme Spirit Beast Release. It is the greatest power known, but if one day you are on the verge of death, do not hesitate to use the Omega Release, but by doing so my spiritual powers will be completely depleted. I will sleep for a long time, and although you can see me, I will be nothing more than a mere statue, but you are your Daruma. Knowing you even if I have to sleep for millions of years, you will surely be alive when I wake up. The heavenly scream, die you fucking bastard. The huge supernova was going straight for him, but the Rosaru, even though he hadn't changed in appearance or size, his spiritual power was at the highest point. After all, a candle burns to its fullest when it is about to disappear. Saru held the enormous energy in his arms, beginning to squeeze it with his arms until it disappeared. Impossible, you damn low-ranking being. How can you still have so much power? Ruby Zaru, a strong blow impacted the celestial beast, while a terrifying roar was heard from every planet in the beast universe. That beast would vanish after receiving the last hit from Saru, who also disappeared into nothingness. Daruma went straight to the celestial. Because of you, Saru is gone. My best friend sacrificed himself to cleanse the universe of some big scum like you. Hey, hey, Daruma, calm down. You can still get out of here alive. If I say this was a sparring fight, you might not go away. <laughs> what do you say? I also invite you to be part of the Celestials. Be part of a group of garbage? I prefer to disappear. Sir? Daruma would beat the Celestial to death. I have avenged the suffering of my people. Forgive me, Sarah. I dragged you into my problems. A cold voice rumbled. Daruma. Daruma, you have broken the rules. You have killed the twelve Celestials. Alice. You will be exiled and stripped of your power. Daruma thought, you can't take my beast power away, because Saru is gone. Someday I'll go back and kill whoever made those stupid rules. Goodbye, brothers. I will keep them forever. Take care of this universe in my absence. At that moment, Daruma disappeared from the beast universe. He had lost great power and appeared in another multiverse, but his beast power had not been taken away and he had hoped that one day Saru would awaken. End of Daruma story. In the Divine Realm, after the time came for the beginning of the Endless Beast Path, here he told me, let's have fun. They were all transferred in seconds to that place. Rai the Dragon, you will fight today. Please make him suffer a bit so we can all enjoy it. As ordered by Queen Akame, Hydra, excited, yelled, wait Akame-sama. Give me the opportunity to take revenge for the humiliation they did to me. Quiet, Hydra. You were defeated once already, so wait for your turn to come. Rai will participate this day. This is how divine laws govern it. Rai was the only one who stayed in the center of that wide space. Shiro said, the time has come, just rest Goku, we'll take care of him. Shiro, Akuma, Yakina, and Nin appeared in front of their first opponent, who was too calm. I thought I was going to face the great Daruma. Not trash like you. Look, little Mokoso, Goku doesn't have to fight someone like you. With us it is enough to defeat you. With you, I will not use my Dragon Spirit Beast. Don't underestimate us, brat. Nain. Yukina. You attack first. Me and Akuma will do the resonance. Yeah. The two beautiful girls released all their power. The one who stood out the most in the sight of the gods was Yukina, since she was very similar to Kain. They all wondered why they looked so much alike. My brother's bastard's daughter, she's the same as me but she's trash like him. 
that Aruma's daughter won't be as boring as I imagined, and the other girl also has remarkable power. The battle couldn't wait any longer, Yukima and Nin attacked first, hitting the god who had allowed himself to be hit on purpose. They have incredible power, but they still have a million more years to train. Yukina had barely made a move, and her breathing looked pretty bad. Neon looking at her said, What's wrong? We just started to fight, you can't be that exhausted. My power is fading. Yesterday I felt a hundred times stronger. Oh, you mean that? I will get you out of your doubt. That is normal, you were the daughter of Daruma. Therefore, you were also a beast. This place destroys the beasts that challenge the endless beast path, and I mean your power, it's natural for you to feel incredibly weak, that's why no one can survive this test, I'm actually surprised that you have so much strength if you've already been affected by the curse of this place. That's why your beast can't be seen. You are just a fangless beast, daughter of Daruma. Yakina was hit by that god, falling to the ground. She wasn't seriously hurt, but it was hard for her to move. Curse. Yesterday I didn't feel as bad as today. Now I understand why my father doesn't wake up. Neen yelled, you bastard! No. Nobody touches my daughter. Neen's speed exploded in a second, beginning to punish Rai with a barrage of punches and kicks. He couldn't dodge that speed, but Neen's punches didn't deal that much damage. Neen was very strong and was not below gods like Hydra, just that guy in front of them was formidable. He knew Daruma and he knew his way. That is why in millions of years he understood the true power of the beasts, completely mastering their power. Although he wasn't using release, he was already using the power of his dragon, filling his body with invisible scales that made him invulnerable to almost any attack. Curse. That scoundrel of a king will finish off the subjects and I will not be able to take revenge on them. NEA was supported by her father Yakuma, and altogether they were beating up Rai, but none of their attacks could take him down. Well, well, out of courtesy whenever I fight I give my enemies some hope. But this is over, it's time to attack, this is not fun if only you hit me. In a few seconds they all went flying and collapsed on the floor. That brat is very fast, even though we can see it. Our bodies were slow in the face of their attacks. That fight was almost over. They had the speed to hit that god as well and they were doing it, but Ray's stamina far outclassed him. It required overwhelming power to deal any damage to it. They are very strong and fast. This would be an even fight if they were fighting any of my teammates, but my dragon scales make me withstand all of their attacks without me getting hurt a bit. Why did they come to this dangerous place? Now, even if it hurts, I have to kill them. I came for a loved one, Shiro unintentionally looked at where the gods were, looking at the subject on Akame's side. He's my son. This cannot be, June is still alive. They are finished. And in order not to make him suffer, they will see my spiritual beast. Calm down please. They will die very quickly, they will suffer nothing. Supreme Spirit Beast released Drago incinerates the entire huge dragon appeared in front of Kuma Shiran A and the Yukina Yukina laying on the floor lamented that she couldn't use her power, and the others couldn't do anything against that dragon either. This is cheating. Even if Goku was awake, if he can't use his beast, how could he stop them? This world is unfair. The dragon released a powerful fire and was about to burn everyone into ashes, but they were saved by someone moving at high speed. I helped you and your sister on many occasions, and you attack my family with your dragon. You have changed, Bray. You are also a wretch. Dad, you're awake. I like it so much. I'm sorry to worry you, daughter. I was able to hear you while I was unconscious. I promise I will teach you to master your spirit beast. Say that this pathetic path of endless beast does not hold you back. Stupid divine laws couldn't stop me in the past since I still have my beast power and they won't be able to stop me now either. It's been a while friend, I'm sorry I couldn't remember you, I'm glad you're awake. Ultimate Spirit Beast Release Saru, the king of beasts, you are Rusty Daruma, or would you prefer that I now call you Goku? Call me what you want Saru, for now. Let's go teach that impertinent brat that no one messes with the family. I haven't regained my full power yet, 
since I was away from the beast universe for thousands of years. But this will be enough. The roars of the strongest spirit beast echoed throughout the place. Akame said, divine laws mean that challengers can't use their beast. Why my bastard brother can? So that's the purple bear, not bad for being an exiled subject from this universe. It will be fun to fight with him. I notice you upset, Akame. Powers like that aren't amazing at all. They don't compare in the slightest to yours. You don't understand, you. He shouldn't be able to release his spirit beast. But he did the impossible. And of course I'm not afraid of the kick being released. What terrifies me is the fact that the rules of this universe can be disregarded. Why the dragon is not weak, but with Siosaro's suffering it won't be easy for him to stop him. You have something to say now that you are conscious. Daruma, I have always been waiting for this day. I trained with one simple purpose, to be as strong and awesome as you are. That's why now I want to show that I've surpassed you. Fight with all your might Daruma, because I am going to destroy you. Drago, incinerate everything. Turns Daruma to ash. Some powerful flames went straight to Goku, who didn't move from where he was, since his family was very close to there, and they could get hurt. That was no ordinary game, it was a heavenly game filled with a powerful divine here. When the flames collided with Goku, a tremendous explosion caused a great disaster on my planet. When all the dust and smoke caused by the attack cleared, Goku was standing in the same place. He hadn't taken any damage. Just inches from being hit, Saru had attacked with a wave of energy with the same level of force. What's up, Ray? You were contradicting your vain words. You say you want to outdo me, but that attack was too cowardly. If I had dodged it, my family would have received that attack. So you can never get over me. To me, you're still the same old sniveling brat. Rai behind Goku was very confident and had swiftly hit him. Goku fell hard against the ground and instantly stood up. Don't mistake this Daruma, my dragon's attack was not an act of cowardice. My mission is not just to kill you, but all of them. You should be thankful. He was going to kill them in seconds, without them being able to feel any pain. I only seek the well-being of living beings. What a nice joke. You seek the well-being of living beings. However, you want to kill them. You are a stupid. You let the garbage laws of this universe take away your reason. Son. Now it's too late. Goku would nimbly flip Rei's stomach. He shot far away from there. Wait here. Do not approach. Those dragon scales. Only I can tear them to pieces. The recent blow sent Rai flying thousands of meters from where Goku's loved ones were. Partner, you need to be vigilant. I must remind you that this man has the most powerful and feared beast in the history of this universe. Get out of the game and finish him off once and for all. Rai stood up and answered. Tell me something I don't know, Drago. That is the barrier that I must overcome at all costs. A few drops of blood fell on the ground. <laughs> there is no doubt that you are a legend. You were known as the most talented in your time. And even after millions of years, it is still so amazing. Even with my tough dragon scale, you caused me enough damage to make me bleed. This is a real fight. I don't understand how Daruma reached that level of strength in a single day. Yesterday I had a totally different key. Tell me sister, which of the two do you think will win? Either one can win. But, it's not fun to watch two insects fight, but the matches have already been chosen. Hikaru stared at Aruma and telepathically told cities, young Daruma will win. Also, I can tell that his power is increasing little by little. Cities, Daruma is the savior of this universe. The annihilation of the Celestials was the best thing that could have happened to this world. The Beast Clans have progressed a lot in power thanks to that. Really, we're going to let him get killed. If we join him, we can forever eliminate Divine Laws. No way, Hikaru. If we help him, we will be wiped out instantly. We would not be of any help to Daruma, it is best to wait. He will be able to survive for a few days on the path of the Endless Beast, defeating the other gods. In that time we will think of something, and perhaps we will be able to get him out of this world through a portal magical, but that would be very dangerous for us. For now, just watch Hikaru, 
He's still a neutral being as always. You and I know him perfectly. He is not the type of warrior to give up so easily. Here I go Daruma, prepare to be defeated. You will not be simple Mokoso. Both beings began to fight fiercely, they were exchanging punches and kicks, and their beasts were also colliding with each other. Damn Daruma. If you weren't rusty I could make that dragon dust with a single blow don't tell me that scary dragon Saru continues to attack as he is doing Daruma would increase his speed more and his beast also became faster they who were initially defensive, they started to attack, and it pushes Rai and his dragon back a bit. Something I don't like Rai. That subject seems to read our thoughts. How is it that he can dodge and block each blow? The same goes for that giant gorilla. Rai and his beast were unaware of the potential of the purple eyes. Goku had incredible eyesight, and that eyesight was in sync with Saros. That is why they anticipated each blow, and it was another aspect that was giving them the advantage in that fight. Rai is being held by that assassin. Maybe if you can get back at them, Hydra. Could it be that fate is giving you the opportunity to receive another humiliation? Shut the fuck up, Alice. Be thankful that Akame-sama is in this place. Otherwise, you would pay dearly for this disrespect, Hydra. Amu, you managed to put this fight in our favor. How come you have such incredible reflexes? Right. Saru, let's just say I now have a new power unlike millions of years ago. In my other world, they were feared. These are demon eyes. Its visual power is compared to my older sister's eye of death. Interesting Amu, you are rusty in power, but you have a good weapon. I'm calmer now. Don't worry Saru, when we face them my power will no longer be so low, now we are going to finish this fight. Rai and Drago lost sight of those two, who were moving at a high speed. You looked at that and said, that god is finished, that's what he gets for being too weak and arrogant. The flow of his enemy's energy was growing, while he was losing valuable time that could have made him win that battle. Where did you go? Daruma, come and attack cowardly front. Here I am, Rei. Strike of the King of Beasts. Goku's fist impacted Rai and the dragon developed. That caused potential damage to their bodies, which after that blow were devastated. The scales that protected his body had completely fallen off and Drago's spiritual power had also dropped. I told you not to underestimate him, Rai. Curse. The blow he gave us was very intense. That is the power of the legendary Zaru. We are not at your level. We have lost. Ray's dragon disappeared. All the beast gods said amongst themselves. How is it possible that his dragon fell in one hit? Rai took care. He was one of the five strongest gods. What do you think you? What did you think of this boring battle? This is a waste of time. All your gods will fall if you face him one on one. That god did not shy away. The power of that warrior surpasses him by far. It's only natural, as despite being weak, it doesn't stop possessing a high-quality spirit beast. The other gods listen to you speak and they all thought. He is too arrogant. He underestimates the powers of the gods. Just being by Akame-sama's side doesn't make her feel superior. Shiro said, he defeated him just like that. The guys here fix everything with the overwhelming power of those things. Goku isn't far behind, he's equal to them, and he rules over that brat like complete garbage. Rai said smiling, I can't believe that an exiled assassin like you defeated me so easily. Now what are you going to do? You have already won this battle. A cold voice rumbled, defiers of the endless beast path have won their first battle it is their choice whether to leave their enemy alive or kill him tomorrow they will face five beast gods at one sister that was decided no they have changed the rules probably because they realized that Daruma and his team are quite strong. Goku walked straight at Rai, his fist filling with black energy. He's going to kill him. Hey wait, we already won, don't kill him Goku, in the past, he probably would have spared your life. Now it's different, you were going to kill my family and that is unforgivable. Before Goku killed him, ha 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 ha, what the hell are you laughing at, you're going to die. That's why I'm happy, I will be killed by you, I was going to kill your family. The least I deserve is death. I let divine laws manipulate me. 
Goku didn't care in the slightest that this god was manipulated and because of that he tried to kill his family. He directed that blow with great anger, but his beast stopped him from being very close to destroying him. What is Saru supposed to be doing? He must die. The Taruma I know wouldn't say that. You once said that your whole universe was your family. You've already forgotten that. The other multiverse has changed you, Master. If you behave that way in front of innocent people, I will not answer your call again. This young god was a victim. Didn't the same thing happen to you back then? You were also suppressed by divine loss. Alright, this time, Uru. I'm going to let him live. But I must tell you that in that place, I learned that being kind can cause you great pain. If they win, we will die. They won't be nice like me. Goku flew to that place, straight to where his family was. Shuru said, I was glad you had Goku. These people aren't bad, just their brains are messed up. That woman told me that I made to be your sister. Goku replied, what Akame said is true, but it doesn't change the fact that they are going to do their best to exterminate us. That's why you all have to be realistic. It is impossible to finish this endless beast path without killing anyone. Tomorrow they will be more aggressive and I am not going to wait for them to hurt me. I will attack them with everything. Goku pointed his finger at the three strongest in the beast universe. I don't care if you were my brothers, make it possible by trying to get rid of the control of your brains. Otherwise, they will be my enemies. Akame, Yamochi and you to you. But how scary you give me, garbage. Those words I will take when you have the strength to back them up. Gods, let's get out of here. Everyone disappeared from the planet Osaru. The only ones who stayed were those who were locked up there. Goku, are you really willing to kill your brothers? Of course, it's their life only ours. The guys who made these rules are not going to let us live, nor will they respect the fights that were already assigned. They'll play dirty until we're done with it, so stay tuned. Don't think that the rest of today we are safe because we won the fight. The important thing now is your daughter. You have to release your spirit beast. You don't have to use your power to do it. That would be doing a force release you have to do it with your heart. Your beast's name is Saru the strongest spirit beast Saru somehow split in two and when you were born you got that power when you achieve release the curse of this planet it will no longer affect you are you ready spirit beast release Saru appeared behind Goku and yelled wake up now other half. You protect my master's offspring. Yukina's body was filling with energy and paying attention to what her father had told her before. He closed his eyes and concentrated as much as possible, seeing inside an enormous Osaru, tied to some chains. Is that Osaru? He looks sad, and he is so alone, and his body is immobile due to the chains. That purple glow looks familiar. Who are you? Sarah, what's going on? The kid Yakina grew in a second, but why didn't he achieve liberation? I never expected this, Master. Why other half is still confused by the reincarnation technique you used back then. He still hasn't recovered his memories. Your daughter has entered her own body spiritually. Making the liberation depend solely on her. I am Yakina and you are my spirit beast. Do not say stupid things. I am not the spiritual beast of a nun like you. I will never give you my powers. You waste your time. Do the same as everyone else. Use my power by force. That's what these chains are for. They do not force themselves to fight for your benefit. Now leave me alone. Get out of here. I will not use your power by force. I will never do that, I promise you, Saru. Yakina touched the chains that bound him, tearing them to pieces. Sorry? Only one person called me that, because you know my name. My father told me it will be your name. You were once his spirit beast and still are, but your body split in two. That's why I know your name. You are Saru, the king of beasts. Tell me, aren't you bored of being alone? Fight by my side and I will never let you be alone again. No, it cannot be. Those words. You can stay forever alone. I promise I will never use your power. I won't force you to fight if you don't want to. But if you fight by my side, I will never let you be alone, Saru. Saru, why do you call me that? 
You are my spirit beast, and I have given you a name. I am Daruma, and you can consider me your friend. I will visit you every day, and when you want to fight by my side and see the outside world, you just have to tell me. Makosa, you are just like him, you are equal to Master Daruma. You say that he is your father. My father doesn't have that name, but if you want to know him, just tell me. I feel homesick. That girl is worthy of using my power. What's your name? My name is Yakina. A pleasure, Sarah. Good. I will fight by your side. Show me who your father is. Supreme Spirit Beast Release, Saru, the King of Beasts, Yakina's Beast, finally appeared, and as Goku said, by doing so the curse had disappeared. He no longer felt weak like before. On the contrary, he felt a warm energy that ran through his entire body. He convinced my other half to fight by his side. What happened to you other half? Did you forget that our duty was to protect the offspring of Daruma? In Yakina's Haru, she looked at Goku and his beast, are you Daruma? Now I remember everything, I promise to take care and give all my power to your daughter and her descendants, you have done quite well daughter, remember that Saru is not a weapon. Hey Saru, help her to use the maximum of her powers. That's what I'm going to do, old master Daruma. Yakina, train with Saru on ultimate release. We will be close to here. Goken went with the others. Cairo said. Incredible. He has the same powers as you. Yakina having that power is a great help now. Yes, he just needs to learn to fight. The subjects here are different from those in our world. You have already realized that. Each spirit beast has its strengths and that can take over a battle. Shiroshan, you are not weak. What just happened with Rai shouldn't make her desire to fight go away. Rai was the only one who could do the ultimate release. The other gods use the power of their force beast, and that limits them quite a bit. My brothers are dangerous, but I'll take care of them. Arriving at the palace, Akami said, I suggest that tomorrow you take this seriously, because you can go through this. Akami charged a powerful spear of energy, and launched it at Rake who was badly injured. All the gods were in great fear, for if they did not kill Daruma and his friends, they would be killed by the queen. Those fights were win or die. Cirrus thought, divine laws have full control of little Akami. I'm afraid that if Daruma reaches the end of the endless beast path and wins over everyone, in the end, even Akame will sacrifice herself. I've never witnessed such an evil thing in an endless beast path. All this happened because Daruma is very strong. He won't lose that easily even with a disadvantage, but I can't let everyone die from a stupid fight. Sarei said telepathically, Jikaru, we are going to the planet Osaru, I have to talk to Daruma. Of course sister, Sarei and Jikaru after nightfall and everyone goes to sleep. They went to the planet Osaru, being angels, they could go in and out of there. Upon arrival they were sensed by Goku and the others. Curse. Two enemies. You were right. They are not going to wait for tomorrow to kill us. Don't worry, I don't feel murderous intentions in them. What do they want, Kikaru? Siri, you remember as well, Daruma. Of course. You are very important to me. I see that the curse does not affect them. They are angels, and their duty is to act neutrally. Satak, what brought you here? Siri got down on her knees and said, First of all, I must apologize, it's my fault you went to this place. I knew about the Celestials, I should have told you and stopped you on that occasion. I always knew that you and Hikaru knew about it, and you didn't tell me anything to protect me. I appreciate that, and don't be sorry that they couldn't have stopped me anyway, Daruma. We failed that time, but not this time, we will take you out of this universe. Thank you, Hikaru, but I refuse. I'm not running away from here. I'm not going to put their lives at risk. I know that if you take me out of here, you will be erased. I will be the winner of this stupid game and I will order as I wish. Confront the creator of divine laws. I will make him pay for bending everyone to his will. So this universe will achieve true peace and I can return to my new peaceful world. Return to your new world? You say you plan to leave this universe again? This world needs you too. 
I'm sorry Hikaru, but I'm not here because my wish was to return. Fate brought me to the place where I was born, but my intentions were to revive a person. That purple-eyed warrior who is with my sister Akame is from another universe. I came to this place with the purpose of resurrecting him, but Akame beat me to it. I don't know how you got to this place, but that doesn't matter to me. He will come with me after everything is over. Do you think it will be easy? You, the Black Osaru, has a lot of power. He is as talented as Yido. He has no memories of anything. His soul was already badly damaged when Akame brought him back to life, so it was necessary to give him Osaru cells. I know Yu's talent perfectly, he is very strong and intelligent at the same time, after all, he is my teacher, when I reincarnated I became a weak being. And thanks to him and his family, I got a little of my old power back. Trust me, Ikaru, Cyrus. I promise you this will all be over soon. Get out of here. You two are the only ones who must avoid dying. Because if I do kill everyone, I want you to revive them. Very good, Dharma. Do not be stupid. Let us get you out of here. Our life does not matter. You three are the only important thing to me. If I don't eliminate the creator of the divine laws, nothing will end and nothing will begin. Only by eliminating evil from its root, I will have the world I want. Hikaru walked straight to Daruma, stretched out his hand and said, Take it, it's the last sacred fruit, it can be of great help. You still have a long way to go before you regain your true strength, and I'm worried that you're going to die. We are leaving, and we wish you that you can win. Hikaru took an arm from Cyrus, and the planet Osaru disappeared. Cyrus was saying, Why, sister? He always wants to carry everything alone. I know that look. I will win even if it costs me my life. That is your thought. He would choose death over surrender. Upon arriving at the palace, Akame was waiting for them. Where had they gone? Little Akame, what are you doing up at this hour? I'm worried my angels will do something stupid. You two have been acting so weird ever since we got off the planet. Talk. What are they planning? I don't want to kill them. Hikaru, it's the divine laws. They make her mistrust us. He will use his eye of death. But quick, let's delete our memories. As you say, sister. The two angels wiped out all of their memories of the last few hours. Do you know something? I believe that today will be the day of his death. Something tells me they betrayed me. And now I will see it. Apparently they forgot that I have the eye of death. Akame used her ocular powers, causing them to fall into a dark abyss, where their bodies and minds were completely lost. They'd only responded to Akame's call, as well as having great vision. Those eyes were feared for their great ability to destroy the will of any living being. Speak now, pair of traitors, you went to see Daruma to ally with him and turn against the entire universe. Tell me, what is your purpose right now as my angels? Both angels responded, we didn't go with Daruma, much less a lie with him. Our purpose as angels is to protect the lives of the kings of this world. Angrily Akame yelled, damn it, what's wrong with my brain? I think I'm imagining stupid things. How could I have thought that my two angels would betray me? Yeah. Release. Yeah. Jikaru and Cirrus were left lying on the ground. They were still affected by the power of the Eye of Death. Returning to the planet Osaru, those girls wanted to help. I didn't think it was a bad idea to get us out of here. You already forgot why we came here, if you did. You would still stay in this world. Besides, I can't deny my provenance. I was once king of this universe. The least I can do is leave you a world without stupid rules. I'll go see how Yukina is doing with Saru. It is important that you learn to master your explosive power. Goku left from there. So much was not to Shiro and Kuma. They were also left thinking of a battle plan. They had no plans to be humiliated a second time and leave everything to Yukina and Goku. Goku arrived where his daughter was training her spirit beast and watched her for a couple of hours. He saw in his daughter a great talent, a talent that could be compared to him in his best days, and even higher, because that girl had the power of demons. He's a genius like you, master. He just woke up my other half, and he can already use ultimate release at that level. It only lacks one thing. I know, 
She lacks experience in combating spirit beast users, and she doesn't know how to control all the power she has well. She releases a lot uselessly, and that shortens the time of ultimate release. For me, she is doing quite well. She is one of the few gods who can access that release. In fact, I doubt there is anyone besides you who can stay with that power for as long as they want. That happens because the energy levels you used to have are almost impossible to deplete. Yutina noticed her father watching her and yelled, Dad, fight me, it would be good training for me and Saru. Not now, daughter. Tomorrow we have a death match. You always say the same. On another occasion, daughter, it's because you think I'm weak and your blows can hurt me. Remember that I am a demon Sahajan. My body has great healing capacity. Don't be afraid to hurt me. Fight her, master. You said it, she lacks experience in fighting beasts, and you are the most dangerous of all. A good teacher for her, don't you think? Goku in a second raised his powers and yelled demon's wrath. Release, Zaru. Make my body an invincible wall. Armor of the king of beasts. Yakina annoyed, yelled, I thought you'd take this seriously, dad. Why don't you use Saro's ultimate power? I don't want to beat you in that state. This isn't about winning or losing, it's about teaching yourself to fight that way. The brutal increase of your powers. Maybe it made you think you're invincible. I also thought that when I first unleashed Saro's ultimate power. But never forget this. You are very young. Your time has not yet come. Out of nowhere. Goku disappeared and in less than he imagined, Yukina was on the ground next to her beast. In Yukina's hoops mocking it was said, ha 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 ha, there is no doubt that it is the Amu, as unpredictable as always, its power is still amazing. B. Partner, prepare to attack, and remember that we are not facing a normal god. Yukina thought, damn it, I've come across as a stupid antisaro, there shouldn't be that much difference between dad's powers and mine. I saw his movement perfectly, but it was so fast that I couldn't defend myself. The force of that blow still shakes my arm. Yakina said slowly, You want to play rough, huh father? Come on, Sarah. Yakina began to move in all directions to distract Goku so that she could hit him. Surprisingly, she appeared behind him, launching a double attack, one from her and the other from her beast, but it only caused a small tremor as her beast hit the ground. That wasn't bad at all, but you forgot just one small detail. I also have purple eyes, I saw each of your steps. Girlfriend, what the hell was that? Master Daruma was always powerful, but he never had that much speed. I don't know, Saru, it's the first time I faced my father. I knew he was strong, but I didn't imagine he would be so difficult to deal with. So this is what you meant, when you faced your brothers, you wouldn't be so weak anymore. Surprise after surprise, Master. Not only do you have incredible vision, but you have great speed. Indeed, I am a beast that has lived in two universes. I can fight as a warrior of this world, and also as one of the other. This is the Devil's Wrath, a technique that gives a lot of speed, and although its power does not compare to yours, it is a headache for my enemy. Saru thought, I'm so sorry Amu, you must have been forced to learn new methods of fighting, because I wasn't there to help you. I haven't given up yet. Yukina and Saru were going at high speed to start their attack. Two fists were going straight for Goku. He didn't even move, but quickly turned around and released a wave of energy. An explosion caused a large curtain of dust. Inside it could be seen Yukina and Saru. How did you know it was an illusion? These demon eyes can't see the future. I know that. This is not possible just having these eyes. In all my years of life, I have had many fights where my life is in danger. That's why I have combat experience, which can defeat even someone as powerful as you. You are not weak, daughter. On the contrary, your strength makes me proud that you are my daughter. But you need to gain experience. Yeah. When you manage to get the combat experience, then if you proudly shout that you are able to beat your old man, but for now it is simply impossible. I have two tips for you. One. Control your internal energy to increase the duration of the ultimate release, and the other. Trust Saru at all times, he has experience that you lack, now I'll just be a spectator, keep practicing on your own. Goku relaxed his body and stopped using the demon rage in Saru's armor. You seem very calm Saru, did you already know that I would be humiliated? 
It's not that I underestimate your powers, partner, but I know the master very well. Beating him is impossible for you right now, but in the future, I know it won't be impossible, honestly. I think that if there is someone who can overcome that huge wall called Daruma, that someone is you. For now, just focus on getting better. That's what I'm going to do, Saru. I'll make an effort to one day overcome that distant level. The course of the day passed quickly and the second day of Endless Beast Trail had arrived. Goku and his family waited for their opponents to arrive. In the Divine Realm, Akame looked at her angels and said, I'm so sorry, are you alright? What do you mean by that, little Kami? Of course we are fine. It's good to know that. Dogs, we are going to the planet Osaru. Hydra, Alice, Anubius, Scar and Akio. You will participate today. But how lucky are you, comrades? Apparently I had to fight by their side. They may not run with the same fate as Rai and the dragon. Alice, the Divine Laws chose you for a reason. They don't want my bastard brother to keep winning. You are the most powerful of all the beast gods, and your spirit beast is of a higher rank like Mio Saru. Do not disappoint me. Please. You can trust me, Akame-sama. I will offer the Daruma's head to you and to our ancestors who formed the rules of the universe. One more day of boredom. Alice thought furiously. Stupid Akame protege. You are nothing without her. How I would like to tear you to pieces. Within seconds they all appeared on the planet Osaru. The gods who were not going to participate withdrew from there. The time has come. Have no mercy. We must win. Both sides were face to face. Anubius yelled. This will be a five against one, Daruma. Your companions are nothing but garbage. Partners, release your spirit beast. The five beast gods shouted at once, spirit beast release. Lion, tiger, white tiger, white dragon, and a phoenix appeared, shaking the place with their incredible pressure of energy. Another dragon? Is it just as annoying as the previous one? That dragon is a high quality beast, it surpasses Ray's fire dragon. Even so, it's not stronger than Rai, because it can't use ultimate release. The most dangerous one is that girl who possesses the phoenix. Give me mine. Demon's Wrath. Release. Saru, Beast King Shield. A surprising key was released from Goku's body, and that pressure fell on the gods as well. You are a worthy opponent, where is your giant gorilla? Almost instantly, another amazing power was released. Yakima yelled, Supreme Spirit Beast Release. Zaru, King of Beasts. All the gods present were speechless. It bothers me here, he yelled. Did you give your beast to your daughter? And that's why you can't use yours, stupid. Do you plan to die and let your brat keep owning your beast? You are a cheater, little brother. Wow, that young lady has purple earrings. <laughs> this will be easier than I thought. Comrades, leave me Doruma. You guys have fun with that girl and the other insects. None of them had any idea what was going on. Right at that moment, there were already two purple Oceras, but Goku did not release his, as he was preparing to fight Kame, Yamoshi and Yu, and Saru was accumulating spiritual energy, hoping to regain the overwhelming power he once had. We also have our methods. We will never be humiliated by their beasts. Daughter, now. Mean faced her father Yakuma, and they placed the palm of their hands on his back. Resonance. Union of three souls. Divine demon. Flashback. We can't leave everything in the hands of Goku and Yakina. Mean, I just invented a new technique. His name will be Divine Demon. And your daughter, you will be that Divine Demon. You are a goddess who could not awaken the demon powers because they were separated from you when Yakina was born. But our resonance unites souls, increases power and abilities and explodes to its maximum level. This will be a triple soul fusion. You will have power, regeneration and purple eyes temporarily, Yagami blood runs in your veins. So it will be easy to unite souls. End of flashback, an overwhelming Kia felt upon completion of the technique. Mean's eyes immediately turned purple and he felt like he could destroy anyone. The only weak point of that technique is that Nin was the only one that could move. Akuma and Shiro were left like statues, since their souls were inside Nin. 
Do you think your huge beasts are the ultimate authority? In my world, it was the demons. Reikiri. Neen in a second shot out the god Anubius. Yakina said, impossible, that speed might surpass dad. I didn't think mom was capable of reaching that level of strength. Amazing Neen. Shiro San, I'm sure of one thing, no one is smarter than you. With your help, how could I lose? Goku also began to attack, instantly attacking two gods that were distracted, Hydra and Akio. They were surprised and hit hard on the head. Yakina, they'll be out cold for at least three minutes. I entrust this white dragon to you. Tear it to pieces. Alice angrily said, I don't have words to describe what idiots those two are. I'm sure Akame-sama will kill them after such humiliation. Getting knocked down by a guy without a spirit beast, that's a mockery. Alice quickly landed a kick on Goku, but he parried that kick easily. Those eyes, you have good eyesight like me. Eyes of the Phoenix Bird. It seems you know a little about my power, so you know it's impossible to beat me. I know those eyes because I have fought and defeated my hunger for your family. The eye of the phoenix makes everything look slower, but if my speed exceeds your limits, that eye is of no use. Instantly, Goku increased his speed. Demon's Wrath was Hideos' exact nemesis, as it gave Goku overwhelming speed, and with his excellent eyesight, it was easy for him to spot his enemy. I can still see you, damn it. My eyes have not lost sight of you. So you think? Suddenly at Alice spat blood, she had been hit by Goku's fist right in her stomach. She thought, did I come from the front? So, I was just chasing an illusion. Those eyes can do that too. But I am a being that surpasses your imagination. That blow is nothing. A powerful fire. It was going straight to Goku. The phoenix had suddenly attacked, and Alice too began to attack. The recent blow had not caused her any damage she has surpassed her ancestors a certain master apparently the phoenixes have finally had what they always wanted to make their beast give them immortality this girl is dangerous. Piss for her part no he stopped hitting Nubius and his white tiger with his powerful fists. A moment ago you called us trash, repeat that arrogant god. Mean stopped hitting that god, who fell to the ground and stood up, he was very angry, he had received a shrapnel of blows from whom he considered garbage. The roar of that white tiger was heard in every corner of that place what a scandalous beast. It is necessary to close that huge mouth of yours. Mean faded again and filling his fist with destructive energy, he would hit that white tiger, which had lost half of its power from just receiving a blow from that girl. Anubius trembling said, how? Well, having a power greater than that of a beast, I am a divine demon. How could you even believe that that tiger could withstand my attacks? Well, it was you who raised this demon, we will never forget your humiliations. Nian's other arm was filled with the same energy and once again struck that beast, which this time disappeared as it had exhausted all its power quickly. Now who's the trash? All the guys here are strong. Thanks to his beasts, he fights against me without the help of your beast. What are you waiting for? Come and attack me. Yamoshi looking at that said, he had never seen such humiliation to a god beast on behalf of all spirit beast users. I'm going to kill that idiot woman. What's going on? Why don't you come closer? Are you afraid? Don't worry. If you don't do it, I will. Neon with the same speed and explosive power would pierce the body of that god with his fist and with his purple eyes. He had calculated very well where to hit him so as not to kill him, but leave him incapacitated for a few days. Right at that moment, the gods that Goku initially knocked unconscious had awakened. Neen quickly got in front of them, as Yukina was fighting the white dragon, Scar. Despite being inexperienced and having never had a real battle using her beast, the power of an ultimate release could not be compared to a normal release, so Yukina was humiliating Scar. Plus Saru had great experience in combat against death and that made everything easier for her. Yakina yelled releasing a large amount of energy, she did not control all the power she had well and wore it down very quickly, the powerful blows went straight to that god. Saru yelled, stop partner, the power level of this blow is supreme, you have wasted a lot of energy uselessly, moreover, you are going to kill that god. Yakina didn't stop, and what Saru said was true. The Osaru planet shook Yakina to land that blow, plus Scar had died instantly. You are young. You need to improve more, it is your first battle in beast mode, 
so I understand that there are mistakes, but next time, listen to what I say, I have the experience that you lack, you are a wise being, Sao, but my father is too, he said to have no mercy, and that's what I did, that's why I killed that guy before he did it first. He heard my voice and still didn't stop. She means to understand that everyone has the right to a second chance. Idran and Akio only looked at Alice alive, so despair made them trust their beast for the first time in their lives, reaching a supreme liberation. His beasts became gigantic and their power had skyrocketed. What happened to them, Saru? You see, mate, now they are in supreme release mode. They stopped seeing their beasts as weapons and blindly trusted them. TV is just beginning. Don't waste so much energy foolishly. The two beasts went straight for Yutina, but her mother got in the way of the tiger. Leave this to my daughter. Take care of the other. Akio yelled. They have killed our comrades. I'm going to crush them. Nia's fist collided with the tiger's claw. And instantly he felt his fist tremble. The power of that god is far superior to the other. There are 10 minutes left until our soul bond disappears. By doing so my power will be at unbelievably low levels. I have to defeat him before that happens. Hydra mockingly attacked Yukina, who nimbly dodged its attacks. Your father humiliated me. It will be a good revenge to kill your beloved daughter. Not if I kill you before, stupid. The two beasts began to exchange blows. The planet trembled with those fist bumps. Goku for his part was fighting fiercely with Alice, who was losing, but was not defeated for its accelerated healing. The fire attacks of the Phoenix and Alice's fast blows weren't much a problem for Goku, but she couldn't stop smiling. He amused himself by proving that his body was impossible to eliminate. Amu, this will be an infinite combat, you have almost limited energy, and she an immortal body. What are we going to do? Leave it to me, Saru, goddess of the Phoenix. I'm going to end your life. In this world there is no one who can eliminate you. But I am sorry to tell you that I have lived in two universes, and I have learned ways to kill an immortal. In this instant, I can make you ashes. When your flames go out, you will die. Goku attacked that goddess's head, knocking her unconscious. His fist was filled with destructive energy. This is the power of the other universe. Every cell in your body will not even be dust. Hakai, don't kill her, master. Every god we will face, they are just being manipulated. Please let her live. She is unconscious. We'll win before he wakes up. Good Saru, but this world is cruel. We can't always win with your methods. Goku turned his back on Alice. He was about to pounce on the remaining gods, but by the time he was completely defenseless, a phoenix's leg had cut Goku's body in half. He fell to the ground and was dying. Saru witnessing that was filled with anger, but his bear will be about to die. He was doing it too. Saru said as everything darkened for them, let's spare her useless life and that damn dares to kill us. Forgive me master, you were right, this stupid world. He doesn't deserve your kindness. Saru's roar shuddered in place. Never turn your back on your enemy. Did they seriously believe that an immortal being would be rendered unconscious? It was just a trap. And they fell completely. It's wonderful to see such a furious beast. I will give them the final blow. The phoenix bird was going to charge Goku for the second time. When he was stopped by the other Saru, Yakina and Mean instantly went to help Goku, leaving the other gods behind, who quickly caught up with them. Wait you two. We are your opponents. Akame taunting herself yelled. Ha ha ha! <laughs> That's right, Alice. Deliver the final blow to Daruma. Let's end this silly game. Hikaru was furious, she was about to break the rules, but she was stopped by her sister Cirrus. Goku with difficulty took out the sacred fruit that Hikaru had given him before, eating it a second before dying. The parts of his body joined together and his power increased rapidly. I thought you were going to die, that bastard had a sacred fruit in his possession, so he kept one before being exiled. It's good that I gave the last sacred fruit to Laruma. If Kokoku activated the ultimate release, Saru came out suddenly, he had come out in force to release Toaswira. None of you deserve to live, no one on this world deserves the forgiveness of the Amu, I will kill you all. 
Well friends, here is this part.